When taking the temperature of a resident, the supplies that we need would be the, the thermometer, depending on the route that is needed. Um, that may depend on what the nurse has delegated to you, or it could be your choice, depending on the situation. If it's routine vitals, you would likely have your choice of routes. So I have my thermometer. I'm going to knock on the door and wash my hands. Good morning, Annie. I'm Ira. I'm your CNA. I'm here to take your temperature. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Make sure the curtain is closed so we have privacy. Any thermometer that's going to go into one of the mucous membranes should have a probe cover. So we're going to start with the oral here. I'm going to put the probe cover on until I see the button on the thermometer pop up. Okay, open your mouth please, and then I'm going to put it right along the side of her tongue and I'll have her close, and then I'll watch the thermometer. And then when I get the reading of the temperature, that will be done. And then I'll put the probe cover by pushing the back of this button into the garbage can. For the tympanic, which goes in the ear, I'll push down until the probe cover is on the thermometer. Okay, I'm going to put this into your ear. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And for an adult to straighten out the membrane, we're going to pull up on the back of the ear, put the thermometer in, and then press the button. And then when I get the reading for the temperature, I'll look at that and then make sure I document in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then that will pop off into the garbage as well. For the temporal, this does not go into a mucous membrane, so there's no probe cover needed. I'm going to make sure I have good skin contact, and then I'll push down the button, and I'll scan across her forehead down to her ear, and then get the reading there. Again, noting whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. The infrared has no contact at all with the skin. So Annie, I'm just going to hold this a couple inches from your forehead. We'll press the button until we hear the beep and get the reading. So I could tell Annie what the reading was and then ask if she's comfortable. Anything else that you need? Nope. Okay, you have your call light. I think the bed is lowered, but we'll just double check. And it's locked. I'll wash my hands, open up the curtain, and then we'll document in Fahrenheit or Celsius and report any abnormal readings to the nurse.